on Dickerman Street, I realized the value that nonprofit organizations played within my community. Whether it was the YMCA, the Boys and Girls Club, the United Way, or local foundations, colleges or universities, they all played an integral role in the life of my community and in my personal life and development. The value of such organizations can never be underestimated. And it is for that reason UPI Education was founded as a 501c3 nonprofit organization. As a famous mentor of mine said, the ground is no place for a champion. So you get up, you dust yourself off, and, and get on the way of life and leadership. Uh, my name is Alonzo Jones. I'm proud to serve as the MC uh, for the closing recognition of the outstanding work and achievement by the young men in the Summer Teen Leadership Camp. Uh, by way of profession, um, I'm discrimination, it's, it's hard right now um, going through Latino, Black, White, Chinese, and everybody. And like uh, Rod said, you know, there's only one race, and it's the human race. And also immigration. Immigration, like Rod has also told me, you are not a, uh, an illegal alien if you were not born on this world. If you come from a different world, then you are an illegal alien. If you are not, then this world belongs to you. So thank you, and have a good evening. They worked hard four days a week, four hours per day, and they did it for eight weeks of a summer when young people are out in the streets doing some of everything else. Me, nobody knows. Um, just as others have a place of special recognition in their heart for certain programs, this is one of my favorite. Hello, my name is Joshua Smith, and my dream in life is to become a comic book creator and a video game maker. Name is Desmond Slater. My dream in life is to become an actor because I've always wanted to become an actor. And it was at that point right there that I, I said to myself, I said, damn, when you get out, man, you're gonna have to give back to them little cats out there who are in the same predicament that you was in. And I'm sharing this with you because tonight I'm gonna share with you just a very small piece of some of my development in leadership and how you might be able to take some of these pieces so and incorporate them. <laughs> Each one of the certificates say the same thing. My name is Riley, and my dream of life is to become someone that young kids can look up to. I want to start my own recreational center where kids and teens can come and hang out and enjoy themselves. Grow, uh, have a place for them to come hang out. Growing up, I went to many recreational centers, but I won't have my, my own. My dream in life is to become a world-renowned artist. Uh, I like art because it's something I always looked to do when I was little. I always loved to do it. And it was a good thing, a good way to spend my time. Good afternoon. My name is Rashid Mohammed, and my my dream in life is to become a volcanologist. Through this program over the summer, I learned a lot of things. One of them is being disciplined. I learned to discipline myself for the better. My name is Angel Mendoza, and I was part of the summer team leadership camp. Uh, lots of stuff I've learned there is uh, my passion to help youth out uh, in the community. Um, I want to thank Rod Ambrose for taking me in and giving me the chance to become the man I am today. My name is Joshua Frank. Smith, and this program has really taught me how to be a better leader in speaking. At first, I never could ever speak in front of people. My name is Rashid Mohammed, and I completed the 2015 Summer Leadership Camp. It taught me a lot of valuable lessons about life, and a lot of the lessons that I learned, I can use them and apply them to my life. As it's been said, we must set big goals and hold ourselves accountable every step of the way. Only then will our children be placed on the right path. Only then will we secure their future and provide them with a qualified baton for their time and generations to come.